Gallagher and the new Jew. And it's this time again, mid 2011, top 10 Xbox 360 games. Well, obviously, a big, well, even if all of these games are not from 2011, but this is going to be my top 10 Xbox 360 games. So, yeah, just like my PS3 ones, but obviously, it won't be all for 2011. So, I'll start with is an absolutely famous series. Number four is coming out this year, and it is Halo Reach. Um, I've really enjoyed this. Great campaign, great story. Online, I've not played too much, but I really enjoyed online. And yeah, I can't wait for Halo 4. And yeah, I'm surprised the graphics are actually good for this. Compared to Halo 3, I've also got that. If you watch my collection video, which I'll have up before this. And it about all Xbox games I've got. So yeah, Halo Reach, great game. If you haven't played it by now, which I think you would have, i try it. That next one is a, well, it's a pretty hard game to get. Um, I've really enjoyed this series when I've had an Xbox before. I've also got it on PC. And it is Battle Station Pacific. Great game. Shame that I can't get out of PS3, but no matter I've got an Xbox now. Yeah, you can do all sorts drive boats, fly planes, all that type of stuff. Battleships, aircraft carriers, everything's phenomenal. Um, I've completed Japanese campaign on this, not a um, US one. I've not started that one yet, but yeah, it's a great game. So go and check it out. Now next one is a really good strategy game which I really am enjoying. Which I've actually finished campaign for. There's three campaigns on it and it is Supreme Commander 2. And it is absolutely amazing. We've also got number one. Which is also good but I prefer this one. Because it reminds me more a bit of Command and Conquer. Graphics are a lot better on this but. I'll, um, if, they met, if they do number three. Merge both of them. See what we get. But yeah. Really good game. Also works nuclear bombs, everything what you get. And what I really like about this, you can have 500 units at one time on map. So yeah, you got a bit of that. Great game. So I recommend that you should go and pick it up if you're a really good, big fan of RTS. And this is on Xbox and uh, PC, by the way. Next one is actually a 2011 release. It's a great game. I've I've already done the first mission on it. Most of these games I've been showing for Xbox won't be like all complete and all that because I've all completed three games for it. And it, um, it's a really famous trilogy of games for Xbox. It's done by a really famous game studio called Epic Games and it is Gears of War 3. Done the first mission. What can I say? It was good. I really liked it. Fun. I've also got over two Gears of War games as well. So this is a bundle copy which came with my Xbox. Shame that the couldn't put disc artwork on the thing, just doing it in black and white. Yeah, great game. I haven't played it online yet, but it looks pretty fun and I want to play through it. Next one is another, well, let's just say it's a very interesting game. It's a good game. It's done by some developers, what they do um, from Chaos Studios. It's by THQ as well. And it is Frontline's Fuel of War. I enjoyed this game. I actually, when I had my Xbox before, a few years back, this is a game that I really liked. Yeah, and um, it's a great game. I enjoy campaign. It's a strange campaign. It's like online type things, but with a bit of story behind it and all that. And when I first seen opening cutscene, I was really pumped and ready to get into campaign. So yeah, I played online as well. It's not bad. Yeah, that's that. And um, since I'm on, a, since I've been talking about RTS with Supreme Commander and that, and Battle Station Pacific, you can really say that's an RTS. We've got to have the all time favourite, Command and Conquer, and I've got Kane's Wrath. I've also got TRB Rune Wars, but I'll put this in because it's a later version. Um, I've done a few story missions. I nearly finished one of the missions and then Xbox crashed, and I couldn't be asked to do it again. So, I'll probably do it again. Great game. I played online with it all the time with my mates. Such a great game. And um, if you're any fan of RTSs or Command and Conquer, obviously you've got to have Command and Conquer games. Next one I've also had on PS3, but I've been really wanting to play it again. So, when I decided to get an Xbox, I thought I might as well get it for Xbox cause, um, so I can get achievements. Because I've already had PS3 version, I would have had. I want to have unlocked them trophies again. So, yeah. And it is Mercenaries 2 Welding in Flames. I really like this game. Love it. I've actually played a little bit of it. Yeah, and I uh, shame that pandemic, if that's right. Pandemic, I mean. Pandemic, that's it. 
Um, shame that they went bust. But hopefully he uh, decides to renew the series and do a Mercenary 3. So yeah, that's a good game. Next one, let's just, I think it's about when it launched games at Xbox. Number 2 came out in 2010. It's a great game and it is Just Cause 1. Great game. I played first mission on it. Well, I've done more than first mission, obviously. I've done like 5. But it's a good game. Can do all sorts in it. Um, yeah, and I can't wait for Just Cause 3, which I think is in development. Next one is uh, for a TV series which I really like, and some people might be amazed. But I'm a big fan of this TV series, and it is Star Trek Legacy. This was my first Xbox 360 game I completed this time when I got a new one. And I really enjoyed it. Campaign lasted a pretty long time, got loads of achievements, and I've played one online match, and it's pretty decent, yeah. Shame there's not a lot of people playing it. So, yeah, good game. Next one is like one of them underestimated games for Xbox. Um, other ones coming out this year, and it's going to be on PS3 this time. It is Metro 2033. There's about a few missions on it, and it is great. Getting into atmosphere, you feel scared, and everything is phenomenal. But um, on this bridge part, you on these steps, and at least like dog things chasing you. The mate keeps getting got killed. You got like punched in face by one of these dog things and there you go. I'm about to check back so I can't be bothered. So yeah, good game, so yeah. That's, so that's my top 10 Xbox 360 games. Can't release the 2011 because only one game out of these all are from 2011 but yeah. So stay tuned because I've got many other videos coming up. Got my collection videos which will be up before these obviously. And then I'll be doing the game of the year. Yeah, and then I'll that's it, really, so thanks for watching, remember to comment.